Okay, quantitative easing is a situation where the central bank buys bonds either from the banks, the private sector, and effectively replaces those bonds with reserves, cash or reserves, what we call it. So effectively, it is uh, swapping uh, one asset on the balance sheet for another. You are taking long-term bonds and swapping it with short-term cash or reserves. That's what's happening with the, uh, um, the, the, the quantitative easing. And it is directed by the central bank. Long-term refinancing option operations uh, is effectively just swapping a liability. It's the, cent the central bank is actually lending money to a bank and actually helping them replace one form of loan, a short-term loan, with a longer-term loan. So they are helping them refinance short-term loans, say three-month paper, and replacing it with three-year paper. It doesn't actually solve the problem of uh, the underlying condition of the banks. There's no change in the balance sheet except for the fact that the uh, banks, uh, the, the, the stability of the bank's funding is a bit better because it's more long-term. Well, uh, the question really should be uh, what have the effects already been and what will right. they continue to be? Uh, because uh, the Greeks have now, sure. for five years, uh, continued to uh, cut government spending uh, in contrast to the uh, public narrative that has been espoused by the Germans and the ECB and others. Uh, Greece has actually cut spending very viciously. Uh, the effect has been that the economy has slowed down very dramatically. Uh, tax revenues have plunged, more and more businesses have gone bankrupt, more and more people have been driven into poverty, uh, social welfare expenditures have increased. So therefore, the public debt has increased as well. It's been a very self-defeating policy. It's like the dog chasing its own tails. It's the uh, medieval equivalent of uh, bloodletting, uh, what they're doing right now. So it's been totally ineffective, and the new uh, austerity measures that have been introduced will actually not help the situation at all, but they'll make things worse because uh, it is more of the same and there is no growth dynamic. And it doesn't matter whether the uh, debt, uh, the absolute level of debt has been reduced from say 240% uh, down to 120% by say 2020. If there is no growth component, no matter what uh, uh, austerity measures are taken, they won't succeed because you will not be able to service the debt in the absence of growth.